For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Alright. If the resultant force is required to act at the center of the slab, find the magnitude of the color loanings of f of a and f of b. Now this is what I'm gonna do to make this problem much easier. Forget about the c-axis and the y-axis and the x-axis and where they sit. And let's make a new axis. Sometimes you gotta move the axis and just moving the axis would make the problem much much easier. So I'm gonna put the x-axis right here, this is the x and this is the y and this is the c. So now the question becomes that the resultant force is required to go right through the c-axis. So now with this new axis that we built, we can tell by symmetry what f of a and f of b are. If you look at my previous problems, you can already tell just by looking at this problem that to balance this all out, f of a will have to be 30 to balance the 30 at the opposite, and f of b will have to be 20 to balance the 20 at the opposite. However, I'm gonna do it mathematically, so you'll soon see what I'm talking about. So with this new axis that we have, assuming clockwise is positive, the sum of the moments at this new axis, let's call it x prime, so we remember that they're not the original ones, has to be equal to zero. Why zero? Because if the resultant force goes right through the middle, it goes right through the x axis and the y axis, and the moments are zero. So a zero is equal to f of a times 3 plus 20 times 3 minus f of b times 3 minus 30 times 3. So now that we have the moments, we're going to clean this equation up a little bit. And this, when you clean it up, it looks something like this. 30 times 3f of a minus 3f of b. And you divide it by 3, make it even prettier. 10f of a minus f of b. I'm going to call this equation 1. So for the y, assuming counterclockwise is positive, sum of the moments in the y is equal to zero. Let's call it y prime. Remember, it's not the original y-axis. And the moments are equal to f of a times 2.5 plus f of b times 2.5 minus 30 times 2.5 minus 20 times 2.5. So when you clean this up, this is 125 times 2.5 f of a plus 2.5 f of b and when you divide all this by 2.5 you get that this is 50 is equal to f of a plus f of b beautiful equation 2 let's call this equation 2 I'm just gonna rewrite equation 1 right below equation 2 then is equal to f of a minus f of b I'm gonna add them together and the f of b cancels out and you get that 60 is equal to 2f of a and f of a is equal to 30 kilonewtons as I told you f of a is equal to 30 original prediction and when you plug this into equation 2 let's say and you solve for f of b you get that f of b is equal to 20 kilonewtons final answers and just like I predicted f of b is also 20 kilonewtons if you got a force going right through the center and all the forces apply at, at the same distance and everything looks the same, except that you gotta figure out two, it's usually the, the same as the other two in a way that it will balance it all out. There's another problem in the book that is the exact same way. You don't need to go through all these numbers. You can just look at it and figure it out. But it's good to note the little trick that I did of moving the axis to make the problem much, much easier to understand so final answer for f of a and f of b please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you